All right. So Daniel, we've obviously been busy. You've been busy. Now you're working at home. I know that. Um, you work at USA. How has uh, how's that transition been uh, from not only the online, uh, you know, going from USA to, to online, but also going from brick and mortar gym routine to online? Well, the, the work transition has been pretty much seamless. Uh, my, my position at work uh, allows me to be virtual wherever. Um, so I'm lucky enough to have that um, to have that option for me. But the the transition from brick and mortar gym to online and figuring that at home, um, it's been great. I really I enjoy the flexibility of being able to do it whenever I, I want to um, to do one of the workouts in the morning or one in the afternoon or all three in the afternoon or whatever the case is. One of the things that I really enjoy about it is that it's made me um, utilize everyday objects around me to, to, to get a workout done. Getting creative. Um, whether it be a five gallon water jug that I'm using for, you know, thrusters or having to bite the bullet and order uh, a rower to get more out of it. Um, it's been really great. That's cool. Um, what have you seen? I know for, I know from my perspective, cause I talk to you a lot is, um, the consistency factor in your life of, of working out. Um, can you talk a little bit about what you've gained as far as from that consistency or, or why that, that consistency exists now? Yeah, I, so before, right before all this happened, I was, I made a commitment to really get back into it. And then that first or second week into it, all this hit and had to go into digital CrossFit, right? Right. So um, I've found that, the accountability of the digital, the online programming um, has made it more difficult for me to not do my workout versus uh, being able to just not go to class. Um, I think the accountability, it's, it's, I feel like you're staring at me through my phone, like you better get it done. Um, but I appreciate it. I really do. And it's just been, it's really helped me get back into consistency of all of this. And I, I can't wait for it to translate when it comes back into the brick and mortar uh, setting. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think a lot of people who are like you who are taking advantage of this um, are going to be more resilient. It's going to be uh, like you were saying before, like it's going to be harder not to do those workouts. It's you're going to be like, well, I'm, I've been doing it anyways. Now I get to utilize all my tools. Now it becomes a, an empowering drive to the gym versus a, yeah, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> um, uh, so how, how has this kind of affected the day-to-day -day life schedule wise? Like, how are you, how are you handling it? Like you, are you going like one in the morning, like you were talking about before, you, do you have a set schedule or do you kind of take each day as it comes? Each day as it comes, um, my position at work has ebbs and flows of, of work and I'm sure everyone else does as well. But, um, it's, that's one of the cool things about this is that I can do something in the morning, like accumulate certain workouts throughout the day and then do the big one at in the afternoon or whatever the case is but I usually take it day by day that's cool no that, I think a lot of people are in that position for the first time too I think USAA and, the, and some of the bigger corporations have taken uh, to online virtual working a lot more I think you've been you told me that you've done a little bit of that already so you had a kind of a leg up on understanding what that transition should be um, a lot of people are staring at the walls now understanding that they do but two hours of work in an eight hour day. And, uh, <laughs> and so, and so I think uh, having that flexibility to, cause, cause we've talked about it, you know, you can do one part in the morning, you, you can, you can do it all in the morning if you want to get it out of the way. Um, or you can do it all at night. It doesn't really matter as long as you get the work done. And that's at the end of the day, all it is. We don't need to fit it all in one hour. We can spread it out. Um, however you want to get the work done. Um, who, lastly, who, who, what kind of a person now, and, and you're seeing all this stuff unfold in front of all of us and, and everybody's dealing with it differently. Um, although we're all in the same boat, what kind of a person do you think would take to this kind of online virtual CrossFit, digital CrossFit kind of a co coaching accountability type of a thing? I think the kind of person that enjoys both the flexibility of being able to do it on their own pace and also enjoys the um, camaraderie and competition of being within the gym, right? So what I mean by that is, you know, because I'm, I'm that person, you know, I, I love going in and joking around with everyone and seeing everyone and seeing familiar faces and meeting new people, but it's also 
the ability to do it at home on your own time at your own pace um, and figure things out on your own. Like for me, one of the things that I'm, that I have to challenge myself being on my own is, you know, rounds for time, how to really just, you know, not take that five, 10 minute break in between rounds, but just keep going at it and keep going at it and build that endurance um, for, for the future. You know, um, I think, and really anyone would benefit from this. Um, but I think someone who enjoys both the camaraderie and being able to kind of take the time on their own and figure out what pace works better for them, what can they improve on, um, and, and try to hone in on all those things. So kind of a self-starter in a lot of ways, um, who, who need, but, but, but needs that, um, that accountability and that push of the, even Absolutely. though it's just, yeah. even though it's just the threat of, is Lee watching? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, because in a lot of ways, what I'm seeing, the people that are taking this on and killing it the most are the people that are self-starters in the other realms of their life. And really, you know, especially in the professional realm, um, really want more for themselves. And I think, uh, I think that translates really well into, into the integrity that it takes. Uh, before we were, t- we were talking about this, uh, the integrity that it actually takes to go. Yeah should I put the X or do I just, uh, it's, it's 12 o'clock and I'm drunk. I might as well go work out. Um, <laughs> uh, but I think, I think where the, I'm seeing a lot of people who have a ton of integrity in the rest of their lives really jump into this and just go, you know what? I'm, I can, I can just put the work in. I'm going to learn a lot on my own. It's going to be fun. Um, and I know, I know the programming is going to be good. The accountability is there and somebody's paying attention. Um, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you very much, Daniel, for taking the time. Um, this will be out soon. Um, yeah, man, keep kicking ass. I appreciate it.